Welcome back to another Team Swarm Circus Duel. Today we got Ethan and Angus going with the Sword Soul strategy as well as the Despia. We're at a different angle today. Um, we see Sword Soul start off with the Desires here. Um, then a normal summon a Moe, revealing another Moe. Just summon with the token here. Um, and that looks like it's going to be fun. We do see a Valor in hand, which is interesting. Getting the... Um, Searching for the Long Yong with Emergence here. Can activate the effect, you know, pitching the other Mo'Yi's, but someone with the token. Linking into the Baron here. You know, right on the fourth or the fifth summon. Getting out the Shizu out here, activating the effect. It's going to get Im uh, Valored here. It's going to be a st strict pass on Sword Soul, you know. It's still being a pretty decent board. We're going to see a branded opening here in the standby phase. Pitching the Mercurier. Summoning out the Aluber here, activating the effect. You want to chain the um, cheese out here, banishing the Long Yong to negate. Moving on to the main phase, and that's going to be that for that game one. So we see, you know, Sword Soul just having too much, having two negates, not being good enough, or being good enough to beat uh, to beat Despia here, you know, not, not wasting any time, just scooping it up. We weren't able to see the other cards in the hand, but uh, we can assume that it just wasn't good enough. Maybe your brand infusion, you know. Thinking that Baron's going to negate that. Or maybe just no other fusion spells. So, you know, not able to activate any fusions. Having just a simple uh, Aluber on field is just not good enough. I'm not sure if I'm quite a fan of this uh, this angle here, but, you know, it is what it is. We're hopefully getting a new device soon to record on. Um, and we do see that Despia is going to go first. See a patchwork in his hand. He can start off with the patchwork. You know, such a nice plus two, pretty much. Able to get, you know, chain, which adds a patchwork as well. And, you know, polymerization, which is like part of your engine, pretty much. It's great. Gonna act Albion here, pitching for cost the Albaz. Getting an upstart. Is that a loss? So we do see branded opening activated here. Um, pitching the other patchwork. Getting out the Aluber, the effect of Aluber can activate here. Getting the Branded Fusion. Asking the Branded Fusion is going to get Ashed. He's going to cross out, calling Ash Blossom. That's a way to protect that. Um, you know, we love seeing a a uh, Branded Fusion going going through. Going here for Lubellion here, activating the effect, discarding the. Um, what was that? The chain here, getting the third patchwork. Being able to fusion summon. By shuffling the materials back. As well as tragedy searching here. Getting the, um, ad lib. Summoning out mirror jade here. We know that there's a patchwork and an ad lib in here, as well as another spell. Um, can act with the effect here, banishing the Aluber, sending the Albion. Or are we? 
Yeah, banishing the Aluber here. Um, and then during the end phase, we're going to set a Branded in Red. You know, super standard board. Not much you can say. Sword Soul should be able to beat that, but we shall see. We see a Cosmic Cyclone on the back row. Um, you know, that thousand life points just to banish it is not doing anything. It makes it so that strategy is not able to activate it, its effect either to set it as well, which is extremely strong. Let's see if he chains it here, you know, getting out um, maybe a Masquerade, um, summoning back the Mirror Jade, you know, at least letting it live. So he's going to do that here. Um, I believe that's what we're going to see, keeping the Albaz in hand. Um, going out for a Dracostapelia. And then I'll be, uh, Ad Libitum here is going to activate summoning back the Mirror Jade. The Zyrus is going to be activated, banishing 10 to draw 2. Vishu is going to activate. So summoning itself. Going to be a Monk of the Tenyi. Here it's an interesting choice because uh, we see if a shooter is going to activate actually instead. Just, you know, no effect of Ethan. Um, it's going to get McCurriered, which explains why he did not pop the, uh, the monk. And that's going to be game for Sword Soul. Um, I guess, you know, he's not able to do much. So it's just going to give him the game to Despia, making it a 1 1 going on to game 2. Or currently 7, or game 3 actually. We're seven minutes in right now, you know, just showing how explosive like decks can be. It's either like break my board or don't. That's all the Yu-Gi-Oh right now is like, you know, making these boards and if you can't beat it, you can't beat it. Same thing with the Scythe Lock, you know. If you can play through it, you can play through it. If you don't, you don't. Same thing with the Calamities Lock, you know, that's kind of Yu-Gi-Oh right now. When the dice roll and whoever wins gets, if they don't brick, they, uh, they win heard a lot of people don't like that format i think it's good that a lot of decks can uh, you know shine and it makes it so that the game is at least from a commentating view more fun um but i also understand that you know not a lot of people want to see scythe lock like scythe should not be a thing again a lot of the other boards uh should also not be a thing like uh you look at fluanderies and berry statue or the stuff like that. Some of the Dragonling Forge are also disgusting, and there's not even any need for a scythe. Um, we can see that Sword Soul is going to go first here to game three, you know, the final match, our final game of the match. We see a Long Young activating, discarding the Vishuta here, getting out the token right away. Going for a Baron, burning for 12. Not almost only Italia activating the effect. Is that going to get responded to with that? Is that an Imperm in their hand? I believe it is. Gonna get res No, it's gonna be fine. Okay, getting that token out. Um, Synchroning those two away for. These cheese out here, and they, that's going to get impermed. Um, definitely interesting that you're imperming the cheese out rather than the Taya. You know, cheese out is going to be live next turn as well. So he's going to set two cards and then pass. Going to flip up anti spell fragments here. You know, just ultimately shutting down the uh, the strategy, slowing it down to almost a halt. Going to Dump with Albion, the branded opening. I'm getting that, you know, draw one. A tragedy. Is that another um, Imperm here? Going to set three cards in a monster as well as pass. Baron here is going to activate, I believe. Baron's going to activate summoning back the Ashuna. That's going to be linked away into a monk. I 
but Shu is going to activate effect, you know, bouncing back the set in the same column as the anti spell. Um, it is an imperm here, you know, not the greatest because that means if he did draw a spell, he's going to be act able to activate it this turn. He's going to negate the cheese out here. Or Shu is going to activate summoning him to get Hara, locking him into worms, but that's not a huge deal. Able to go double monk. Adding back the Long Young with the Adhara. Entering battle phase attacking. Um, into the tragedy. Over 2000. Normal summoning the Moe. Revealing the, the Long Young. Is that going to be a token collector here? Um, which is huge. I actually think like banishing for cost. Not getting the negate. Um, showing what's in the graveyard here, you know. Just wanting to make sure that they know what's going on. We're going to see a branded fusion being activated on his own turn. Um, getting out most likely the Albion, you know, not being able to have, or not being able to afford that discard. Going for the dark, the Lubelion as well, discarding the uh, the other branded fusion, you know, chaining the burn or cheese out an activate. He's going to chain the branded in red here, trying to dodge that, uh, targeting the dramaturge using those three to summon out the uh, chimera. Chimera is going to activate. As well as Lubelion still resolving here. Getting with the Mirror Jade. And then the effect of um, Drama Herd is going to activate. Stuff showing itself out. You know, having lots of beaters on board. And then we're going to see Guardian Chimera activate the effect. Popping the two back row. Is that double anti-spell here? But we are able to normal some of the Aluber and it's going to get Ash and that's going to be game for uh, for Despia here. And you know, token collector is just too strong. Um, but yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.